hello everyone welcome to day 24 of 30 day challenge of learning tableau from scratch in today's video we are going to see, discuss about some of the advanced concepts of tableau so when you are working in real time often you know we face these situations where we have to implement or you know use uh, the scenarios that we are going to discuss so stay tuned and let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so to start off uh, the first thing is you know copy pasting the data source okay so many times we try to you know connect it to a data source and try to build views on top of that but sometimes we might also you know use a scenario where we want to copy data from somewhere and just paste it okay so we tend to create a file and use that so tableau has got some very interesting feature where it can you just need to copy suppose this excel data is there okay so i'm just selecting whatever i need here I'm doing control C. Okay. And if I just directly go and just paste it here without going to sheet and all, Tableau will try to create a data source on that automatically. See here it is creating a data source with the name clipboard. Okay. And it is also identifying how many dimensions we have or how many measures we have. So that way also we can do here. Okay. So this is something that we should be aware as a Tableau developer. And this might come very handy when you are trying to copy data from you know Google and you want to you want to paste that in the in your view. Okay. So this is something very important tip that I wanted to give. So next is I wanted to talk about the connecting to your database plus you know writing custom SQL and a parameter three important things I wanted to discuss. So for that what I'm doing is I'm trying to take you to a different thing here. <clears throat> I mean different workbook here. So see uh, why this custom SQL is important is when you are trying to implement a very advanced scenario and you know you want that to be customized you want that to be optimized and you want to make that query also dynamic implementing parameter in your query will be one of the best methods okay so i have seen in multiple projects where we have implemented this parameter concepts in queries okay so to do that what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to connect it to microsoft sql server where, ha where i have my tables so this i have already installed in my machine and you can connect it to whatever the table that you have or whatever the server that you have installed in your machine and credentials you can get it from your team if you are in using in professional world if you are installing at home you should know what that is i'm just trying to connect to that so i'm just trying to so this is basic connection we all know like if i drag and drop we get the data right so this is the basic way of connecting okay fine so if i don't want that Okay, I can remove that and I can write custom SQL here. So you have an option called as custom SQL. You can write the query here, select star from EMP. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to run here. And if I click on preview results, if this query is running, then fine. You now we are able to execute the query. So everything is valid here. Click OK and you can go to sheet one and you can prepare whatever the view you are you want okay so for now let us take a simple uh, view i'm trying to build and i'm also taking department number and i want that to be categorized as uh, dimension and i'm just dropping it here okay now i want to customize my view by passing the parameter value to the query okay so for that what i'm trying to do is trying to create a parameter here okay so enter department number okay and this i'm taking as my integer value okay and uh, range can be from your department number okay or you don't even need to specify you can write anything click okay now this value i want to pass it to my calculation okay and whatever is matching here that should be filtered out okay so here it is 10 if you observe okay now i'm going back to my uh, data source here editing my sql okay simply here i'm writing where 
okay i'm inserting parameter now click on insert now see here when i'm trying to insert parameter it is it is already reading from the uh, workbook right where i'm writing department number is equal to i'm giving set parameter and department number simple so you see this is how it is pasting so like that you can pass whatever the information you want you want to pass it you know at a date level you can enter the date parameter here you want to pass it at account level you can enter account number here so whatever you want that value you can pass it so multiple parameters also you can pass it here okay so for now i'm just using a single say, single parameter option click on okay okay and update now and i'm going to sql now see here because our parameter has a 10 value it is trying to run the query for that department 10 and it is trying to give us the result now if i try to enter 20 i'll get 20 okay so if it is 30 if it is 30 like that okay so you can pass the values like that okay so by default it can be any account number that you want to specify here so that is how something that we can write here or we can pass uh, SQL here, SQL. So three things we have seen, uh, connecting to data source, writing custom SQL, and passing parameters to our queries. Three important concepts that are important for us in this concept, okay? So that's about this. Next is hierarchies and plus combined field option. Now what happens is, see here, or is we can go to our this thing only so after maybe i'll just try to remove uh, the parameter option from here i don't want to filter anything for now okay now we got all the departments right suppose by default i want to show my view at a department level but I want to create a hierarchy. Like when I click on this department number, I want to see the employees under that or employee names under that. So that is my requirement. How can I do that? Okay. So to do that, first thing is you need to understand the cardinality of data or the relationship with the data. So if you don't understand, you we might not set up these hierarchies in a proper way. Like say a country is there, right? So assume uh, we have country so uh, within country we will have states right and within states we will have cities so this is the hierarchy of data or this is the granularity of data that is there so likewise when you are trying to create an hierarchy in your real time you need to know what is the you know uh, flow of your data that is coming right so that is for stay uh, focus on that and try to create so here we know that you know everything will be dependent on department within department we will have employees and within employees we might uh, within managers we can have like that so i can set up something like this so i can also write like say manager here okay our manager number is there so i'll just try to convert to dimension so within department we will have managers and within managers we will have employees that way we can do okay so but for now here what i'm trying to do is for each department i'm trying to create an hierarchy so how can we create an hierarchy under department number i want my employee number, employees or this one okay so i'm going to click on this okay go to create or go to hierarchy option and create hierarchy option. So you can write here as uh, departments. Okay, click OK. Now see here, it has created a hierarchy with this branch symbol or a root symbol. So you can now add whatever the you know fields that you you feel should come under this. I want ename to come under this. So you can click on this and go to hierarchy. Now you are seeing an option called as add to hierarchies. If you have multiple hierarchy, hierarchies, it will list out here. So because we have only one, it is showing one. I'm selecting that. Now it moved under that. Now you can also see a plus mark here because we have added this under that. Okay. So this is something that you need to observe here. Now if I click on this plus, 
automatically it is drilling down to next level like that we can do okay so if i remove it from here i want to remove it okay click on this hierarchy remove from hierarchy that way we can remove so adding from hierarchy and removing from hierarchy so whatever the values or no matter how many number of fields you want you can add it from you know to your hierarchy so we also create this type of hierarchies in real time okay so uh, often and it is very useful as well next important thing is you know combined field option so many times we might want to combined field okay so there are two methods for that let me like say you know you want to combine your first name and last name or something like that you want to do so how can we do that so there are two methods if you are playing with a string data type then simply you can create a field like this i like say i want a e name plus a job example because those two are string in nature for me i'm trying to add those two so simply you can do e name plus job you can do okay so if i click on apply so it will create another field with e name plus a job okay but if at all you want any separators in the middle or spaces that also we can do now i'm just trying to add quotes something like this because everything in string in nature it will it will it will accept you got that or or i can add pipe symbol in between i can add pipe symbol something like this okay this way also i can do so whatever the separator you want you can do that and it will add that okay so this is first name underscore last name or employee name underscore manager that type of thing i can do but if at all you don't want this to happen you don't want to write calculation you want to use some automated method so what i'm trying to do is again selecting these two fields employee name and job right click on that and here you have an option called as a create under create you will see combined field option so when you click on combined field automatically tableau has merged those two fields and it has created a new field click on that and edit combined field here you can specify what is the separator you want separate members by comma so which means first name and your employee name and job will be separated by comma something like this adams comma clerk so that way you can use this combined field option often very effective when re when required okay so this is how we got okay so you should know multiple approaches you can solve it using concatenation method that we have seen or you can also use combined method option okay so that i wanted to discuss here so next is creating a view with multiple data sources so in real time it is not like you know we are going to create a view only with one data source so there is a possibility that we might be creating views with multiple data sources like say some of my data is in custom sql so i've created one view fine so i'll play, I, i'll add that here like say employee number employee sales but and my another data is in my sample superstore so i'm connecting to that and maybe i'll click on that and in this i'll try to connect it to that and create a view with respect to maybe order date i'm taking order date and region and sales okay now we have created two views here and maybe I, if at all i want still want more information i can create that so with employees if i want what is my total salary i can write it and with respect to department if i need i can do that and uh, okay so i'm making it entire view label i'm doing it to the center of the screen and i want them to be little bold and bigger as well so i'm just making 26 okay and uh, so department number i want here itself so i'm just writing department number here and dropping it here 
but I want to add text to that. So I'll just write uh, department number. We'll try to just customize our view and just uh, I'll try to decrease the font size of this maybe to 14, something like this. Yeah, I want just a separator here. Okay, even, even if it is 10 should work for us. Yep, okay. Now we can do it something like this. I don't want my header, so I'm just hiding it. Now I'm just writing like department information. Okay, so we can go to dashboard and we can create a view on top of this, something like this and add our views. Okay, maybe I'll write it something like this. Okay, so I want region wise sales somewhere here. Okay, so this way we can adjust our views and we can also format it to have a better representation of the data. So the intention in showing this was creating views using multiple data sets or data sources. But here, you know, none of them are relevant. Like say our employee sales are not relevant to our sample superstore. But in real time, you might have a relationship between that. That is when we will try to put them together. Okay, so if there is no relation, no point in having, you know, uh, views in the same dashboard. Okay, so when you are trying to communicate to see that, you know, there is some reference to that. Okay, so here this was only for illustration purpose of how we can use multiple data sources, create views and use them in dashboard. In real time, when you use multiple data sources and show them in the dashboard, you, you will have a, a, a data reference so that you can uh, work uh, with actions and all so that you know it impacts multiple sheets. Okay, so that is something that you need to you know, uh, focus on when you are creating. Okay, so yeah, so those were the things that I wanted to cover in today's video. I hope you have learned something new. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.